Hi, my hiking friends. It is so nice to see you here. And today I'm going to start out a little educational video series here on my channel. And I'm going to start out with showing my emergency kit, because what is more important than safety on the trail, right? You can buy like a ready-made emergency kit from the hiking stores, outdoor stores, but many of them have, I think, unnecessary items when you are thinking of going outdoors when you are hiking. So you already have quite a lot of things in your backpack. So my emergency kit uh, differs a little bit from the ones that at least I can buy in Estonia. So without further ado, let's start. And the first thing is of course fire making. I always have my separate fire making kits in my, you know, like uh, active bag. I don't know, uh, the things that I use daily when I'm outdoors. But in my emergency kit, I always have an extra fire making um, thing is uh, a fire steel and it is a really nice tool because you can start a fire even when it's wet. If you are using a fire steel the day-to-day -day basis when you are out hiking then I suggest you to have your secondary uh, fire starting uh, thing something else for example waterproof matches or I don't recommend lighter because they are very unpredictable. It is also very helpful to have something dry and easily ignitable material in your kit. And I don't know where I found this tip, but tampons, they are a genius thing to have. Basically, they are already waterproofed, uh, little dry bunches of cotton. And I'm going to demonstrate to you how easily you can ignite them with a fire steel, for example, because I personally struggle using a fire steel uh, to start your fire. You have to have a very specific, you know, set of uh, dry things to start a fire with. So this is super easy and cheap and lightweight uh, option to have in your emergency kit. Next up, a knife. You can have a pocket knife, you can have a bigger knife. Uh, for a long time I used this knife. It would be nice to have like a really small blade in your emergency kit and then your everyday knife separately. For example, what is a really nice and lightweight knife is this Victorinox like keychain uh, pocket knife. It is really uh, lightweight, really uh, small. Of course you can't do bushcraft with it, but you know, you just need to survive, so don't kill a bear with this knife. <laughs> compass. Very, very important to have a compass in your kit and also to know how to use it. This is a very easy and simple and quite cheap compass. I think I bought it with 10 euros. Don't be fooled by all of the different compasses in the stores. You can buy one for like 50 euros, but you don't need such a fancy compass. But very important, learn how to use it. I have used mine in emergency situations where my GPS has died and I have needed to position myself with a map and compass. Also, uh, a rope. I have like a, I don't know even how long is it. Let's measure it. I have one, two, three. You can have more or less, but I do suggest having a paracord, which means that it's really, really strong. Paracords are weaved. If you start to unravel it, you can have this really tiny cord, almost like a fishing line string or cord that you can use for, I don't know, for fishing if you would need to. Good to have to tie things, to build shelter. Regarding like repairing things, then I have a, a small kit for one needle and for some really strong thread. To be honest, uh, some people like lightweight, lightweight hikers do carry um, floss, dental floss with them and then they do any repairs with the dental floss and with the needle. You can do that of course but you know it's it's just a thread it, it like it it weighs one gram. It's not a big thing to carry with you when you need to repair some clothes or something. Definitely one of uh, the most important things in your emergency kit is a whistle because when you are lost you need to be able to, 
you know, make some noise when people come to rescue you or search you. If you have ever talked a lot, yelled a lot, you will get a sore throat very quickly, especially when you're outdoors in the cold. So if you would need to yell for a very long time, you would lose your voice and then you cannot announce your position to anybody. But with a whistle, you just need to blow. <whistles> and people know where to come and get you. But be mindful that most of today's backpacks have a whistle already built into their uh, chest straps. Yeah, also uh, for letting people know where you are, you should have a really small mirror with you when you need to, you know, let helicopters or whatnot to let you know where you are. Uh, in my hygiene chit, chit, in my hygiene kit, I always have this comb with me that has a mirror attached to it. So in this case, I don't carry two mirrors with me. I just have this one in my hygiene kit uh, that I use daily to brush my hair and so on and to check my pimples if I have some. The next item you should have in your emergency kit is some kind of uh, plastic bag or a condom is a very good option. I am using uh, dog poop bags because I have tons of them laying around in the house. And this is uh, for everything that you need to waterproof in emergency situation or to carry water. Because one thing that I learned from my 24 hour survival challenge, I found out that uh, what to carry water with is a very big thing very big issue uh, when uh, you don't have a bottle with you, maybe you lost it or it broke or whatever. So something waterproof. Then, of course, a mandatory item in your emergency kit is your emergency blanket or like, yeah, does it rescue blanket. They call it a rescue blanket. And uh, this is the, you know, like the space blanket that has a silver side and gold, uh, gold side. And you know that uh, when you want to protect yourself from the sun, this is how I learned it. It sounds silly maybe, but it works. When you want to protect yourself from sun, you use the opposite color outside from the sun. So you put the silver color outside, okay? And when you want to protect yourself from cold, you, you use the opposite side outside for the cold. So you use the gold side outside, right? This is how you remember it. Uh, at least I did. And of course, when you buy it in a, like a, in a packet, they write it here as well. You should also always have some kind of light with you. Head torch is a very good thing. Uh, it keeps your hands free. So I have always one light with me when I go hiking. So I don't uh, have a second light in my emergency kit. But you can have, like, you can buy these really tiny LED lamps that are really lightweight. And the last item in my kit is a winter special. I always carry hand warmers or foot warmers with me in case I get really cold and I need to warm up myself. And they are also super good things to have in your sleeping bag when it's really cold. Then what you need to do is take your warmer, activate it and then put it uh, into your inner thigh because, like between your legs because this is the place where you have really big arteries and when you heat up blood in your arteries they will you know carry more warm blood around your body. So this is it. This is my emergency kit. These items will help me survive. <gasps> no I forgot one super important thing. Okay 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 guys so this is my thing that I need to carry with me all the time. They are hard candies and why? Because in emergency situation, when you are in bad luck and you don't have anything, anything uh, to eat anymore, this is what I have experienced myself. Your brain activity slows down, like for real. You don't feel it, you don't think it works like this, but it does. And then you start to make bad decisions and bad decisions lead to very bad consequences, especially when you are in situation that is not normal to you. You need to raise your blood sugar 
uh, levels. So this hard candy that is like 100% sugar helps it immensely. And because it is hard candy, you will suck on it and you will release the sugar slowly. And it is amazing what this kind of candy does. I usually carry them in my hip pockets when I'm out hiking, when I need to have something. I take one candy and it works magic. And it works a special magic when you are like surviving. This is what I experienced also in my 24 our survival challenge is I got to, I didn't get hungry you know I didn't feel hungry but I felt my brain like slowing down and I didn't make any good decisions anymore and then my good mates Jana and Alvar brought me some blueberries and so I ate blueberries and got my blood sugar level higher from them chocolate is good as well but chocolate gets bad chocolate melts so this kind of uh, candy is like this is like if, if you take out anything from this video, then please put hard candy in your emergency kits. And the last thing that I forgot to tell you, and this is why the lighting is different, because I'm filming this on the next day. Anyway, the last thing is uh, water treatment uh, tablets. These are mm, like uh, chlorine, sodium dichloric. Okay, no, I can't pronounce it. I use a, a water filter as my primary water treatment system and these tablets are here just for emergencies. You can pop them in into your water for 30 minutes and after that it is safe to use, although it will taste like chlorine, but you know, for emergency situations, perfect little lightweight tablets to carry with you. Okay guys, this is it. This is my emergency kit and things that I always carry with me. How long of a trip I will go on? Is it a day trip or a multi-day backpacking trip or car trip, whatever? I made a free downloadable list for you guys so you can download it and uh, assemble your own emergency kit and you always know what you should have there. I have a little personal news for you as well. I have now launched my very own uh, online shop where I have listed my original paintings from my 100 days project. So if you have been following me on Instagram, you know I have been painting one small painting from my hiking trip photos every single day since 1st of June. I still have a little bit go on the project, but uh, uh, all of the paintings that I have done are now uploaded to my website. You can go there and purchase them if you wish, or you can just go and enjoy them as a collection, as so like a gallery, online gallery. I have really loved painting from my hiking memories because it has brought back all of the beautiful times when I have hiked in Nepal, in New Zealand, in Estonia and in Swedish Lapland. It has been a joy painting these landscapes because this summer I haven't gone anywhere, but I guess this is the case for all of you guys. So I hope you stay safe, uh, stay well. And I will see you uh, next week with my first aid kit. Okay, bye.